Hey guys, Extremicide here with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Best Class Setup Guide. This is a series where I share with you the absolute best setup for various guns without all the fluff and over the top information that you don't really care about. I'm a bit late getting my guides posted compared to other YouTubers with good reason. I wanted to max out every gun so I could give you all an honest and informed analysis of these guns and my attachments and loadouts for them. I may not be the first to get the info out there, but I can promise you I've done my research. But keep in mind that these are my viewpoints and maybe you will and maybe you won't agree or disagree with them. And that's fine. I won't be getting overly technical by supplying statistics in these guides. Every time Modern Warfare receives a new patch and a weapon gets buffed or nerfed, those numbers change. So I'm not going to waste my time and yours giving you information that is going to end up being inaccurate in about a month's time. I stick with the basic type of rating, yes it's good or no it sucks. With all that out of the way, let's get started. So in today's best setup we are talking about the Ram 7 Assault Rifle. The Ram 7 slightly resembles the TAR-21 Assault Rifle from Modern Warfare 2 and is a fully automatic assault rifle that when left unaltered has really, really, really bad recoil. With this build, I focus on improving the gun's accuracy while also lowering that horrendous recoil. The final result is a Ram 7 with high accuracy and low recoil, which is very easy to compensate for, and a very high fire rate, which is great because normal damage for this assault rifle is kind of mediocre. The Ram 7 sports very good control and is one of the assault rifles in the game with the highest movement speed. Its only shortcoming would be its mediocre range, but mediocre is good considering it could have just as easily been a low range rating. Its aim down sight speed is one of the fastest in the game for assault rifles. In close combat and medium engagements, this assault rifle feels a bit overpowered because it just wrecks opponents in 4 bullets or less. Four bullets may sound like a lot, but remember that I said earlier that this gun has a very fast fire rate. So in the grand scheme of things, four bullets is just fine. It's a very fast assault rifle, but will not outkill an SMG unless you get the jump on them. And overall, this assault rifle works well in both core gameplay and in Warzone. This setup improves upon the Ram 7's accuracy, range, and control while dealing a small hit to mobility. So with that said, let's take a look at my go-to loadout for this particular assault rifle. All right, so let's begin. First, we're gonna head up the muzzle and we're gonna select the monolithic suppressor. This is gonna increase our damage range, but more importantly, it's gonna keep our shots from showing up on the radar when we're in war zone. Next, we're gonna hop over to barrel and we're gonna select the FSS Ranger. This is gonna increase our damage range, our bullet velocity, and give us more recoil control. Everything this gun needs to be awesome. Next, we're gonna drop down to Underbarrel, and we're gonna go with the Merc Foregrip. This is gonna help us with more recoil control and give us some hip fire accuracy. A skip to the right over to Ammunition, and we're gonna go with the 50 round mags. And we're going to round this off with a rear grip. And we're going to go with the rubberized grip tape, which is going to give us even more recoil control. So now the only thing this gun needs is a good loadout. Okay, so here's the deal. I was on the fence on whether or not to include the loadout that I use when leveling this gun up, but I kind of knew that if I didn't include it, someone was going to ask for it. So here it is. Now, keep in mind that this is only an example loadout, a suggested loadout that worked well for my playstyle and my strengths. This may not necessarily be a best fit for you. Only you know what your playstyle is like and where your strengths lie. With that said, I strongly urge everyone to modify this example loadout to best suit your own gameplay style and strengths. The loadout overall is a personal thing, so make it personal to your own playstyle. And that brings us to our question of the day. Okay, alrighty. So let me know your answer in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And with that said, if anything in the video helped you out at all, then please throw the video a like. And if you want to see other videos by me, throw me a sub. Anyways, until next time, be good to one another. Extermicide out.